I know Mr. Beast can make a good YouTube video, but let's see if he can make good food. All right, so I always start my vlogs on Friday, but I just looked at the clock and it's 10 o'clock at night. I've been so busy today, I just completely lost track of time. So when you guys are watching this, Christmas has already passed, but right now is like December 20th or something like that. So we already watched Home Alone 1. Sam and I are about to watch Home Alone 2. <laughs> grabbing lunch at Mr. Beast Burger. I don't know if you guys heard, but Mr. Beast made these burger restaurants all around the country, and there's one like 10 miles away, so we're going there for lunch. Then we're picking up our wedding rings that just came in. We're getting a couple things for our kitchen. We're making Christmas cookies. We've got a ton of stuff today. Alright guys, so we just picked up our rings. We're going to unbox them right now. I actually just got a text from the Mr. Beast Burger Company. They have way too many orders and they're not going to be able to give us an order today. But I'll order them another day. Oh, this one's mine. This one's mine. So this is what it looks like. Oh, how does it look, guys? All right, well, now that... Oh! Now that I'm not getting Mr. Beast Burgers, i got to find something else to eat. When in doubt, Jersey Mike's always comes up clutch. This is not a brand deal, but if Jersey Mike's wants to send me money, I'll take it. I'm not. All right, guys. So my favorite part about Christmas is making the Christmas cookies, and Sam makes great ones. Maybe I'm lost. Should have seen it coming my way now. Oh, oh yeah. And since you've been gone, everything is starting to fade. Is it a duck? No, it's a house. Yeah, it looks good. I don't care if it's Christmas, New Year's, my birthday, Easter, you always got to make chocolate chip cookies. They're by far the best cookie. Don't at me. All right, so it's Wednesday morning. Sam and I were baking for hours last night, but the baking isn't over yet. So I don't know if you guys remember, Sam bought me this ice cream maker last year and we never use it. So we decided for Christmas, not only are we gonna make cookies, but we're gonna make hot fudge brownie ice cream. So the first step is I have to make brownies. While the brownies are baking, I'm gonna wrap Sam's Christmas gift. It's literally the day before Christmas Eve and I feel like I haven't done anything yet. Sam's not here to yell at me for eating the batter today. All right, so the brownies are in the oven. Now it's time for me to wrap Sam's Christmas gifts, which uh, you guys are about to find out how terrible I am at wrapping presents. It's kind of embarrassing. So yes, these might be the world's worst wrapped Christmas gifts of all time, but they are the best bad Christmas gifts I've ever wrapped in my life. I'm proud of myself. I love ice cream. I'm 
I'm not sure if those plants are dead because of the snow or because I haven't watered them in like six or seven months. I just tried to order that Mr. Beast burger again and this time the order went through. They said it's gonna be delivered to my house in like 20 or 30 minutes and I also ordered like the entire menu. I got the Nashville hot chicken sandwich, I got the Carl's grilled cheese, and I got the french fries. I know Mr. Beast can make a good YouTube video, but let's see if he can make good food. <laughs> So we've got the Mr. Beast fries. I love the labeling too, like look at this. Mr. Beast fries, you've got the Mr. Beast logo on the outside. We've got the Nashville hot chicken sandwich over here. And then last but not least, the uh, Carl's grilled cheese. So I'm gonna start with the Carl's grilled cheese and see how this is. It, it tastes like a lukewarm grilled cheese. I am a big fan of crinkle cut fries, so I pretty much like all crinkle cut fries. But these are actually really good, and they're not too cold. Okay, okay, I'll hand it to him. This looks really good. All right, Frankie, so I'm done with my lunch. Now it's time for the official TFG food review. So this was overall very good. I'm gonna start with the grilled cheese from Carl. I love you, Carl, but this grilled cheese stunk. I don't know if it's because it was cold and soggy. Maybe that's what it was, but this was not very good. I'm going with a 4.6 out of 10. And that was me being generous. Let's move on to the chicken sandwich. This was actually very good. I was very pleased with the chicken sandwich. I really want to try the Nashville hot chicken sandwich next time. But I'm going to give this a 7.1 out of 10. Very big fan of the chicken sandwich. I didn't try the actual burger because I'm not a big red meat guy. But if any of you guys at home tried the burger, let me know how that was in the comments. And last but not least, the Mr. Beast fries. Like I said, I love crinkle cut fries. So they're probably always going to start at like a 6, 8 or higher. But these were good. I mean, they were a little cold. But if these were right out of the fryer, I'd probably give them like a 7.5. So overall... Very pleased with Mr. Beast Burger. I'm gonna give him a, a 6.8. This was so much fun. I really hope this is not my last food review. Pretty good. Do you have any guesses? A car? <laughs> so I can garden in the all year round? Uh-huh. Oh my god. Sam, the plants aren't growing. It's gotten really hard for me to use a tripod ever since we got Roxy. 